Hello and welcome to episode 58 of Let's Play Crusader Kings 3 as the Roman Empire. In the last episode we laid out some new information regarding the future of the campaign, but also we conquered some people down here I think. If I remember correctly we made this new kingdom here. Valencia was called originally but now it's called Carthaginesis. This, is, this used to be like Nova Carthage, New Carthage, the colony of Carthage back in the Punic era in the, about 200 BC. Carthage had a colony here in Iberia, Nova Carthage. I think the city in Nova Carthage is, were around this area here. Somewhere around this area. I don't remember exactly where it was. But now we want to spread our power even more. I have truces with absolutely everyone. Do we still have a truce with you? We do not. So we could attack Sweden again. The very weak. The Jarldom of Granada. That, <laughs> that is, sounds weird. And completely wrong. That's three counties. Sevilla. Sevilla. That's the biggest one we go for. <coughs> Pardon me. I think that one. That's gonna be a good one. I should probably check this before I try to attack someone. When I start when I have started a new video because I rarely have any idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Just when I started the, a new video, I was like, okay, what happened last time around? I have no idea. <laughs> But this is not going to be a problem. Because we imprisoned everyone. I just want those guys to speed for, of course. We are befriending this guy. I don't need to. And we're going to go about this this way. We have a notable guest. Very good. Even though I don't care about him. He's gonna stay here. So you go there. This guy. Go and siege down Kedis. No, that was not what I wanted. I only want that guy. And you should go there. My rival, this Norse person with consumption or pneumonia, has died. And I love that. I basically have no stress in my life because all of my rivals die all the time. Because we have problems. Uh, that's gonna be good. So we're going to go through with this in two months. Hopefully we're able to win it. The sweet king is dead. I wish he could have waited to die after we finished the war so we could attack him again. But sometimes you just have to live through those things. <coughs> Pardon me. Because this duke is actually not my vassal anymore. Oh. I could probably just ransom them all together. Okay, so you're done. Then I want you to move on and siege down because I want to take those places, which means I need to siege them down. <coughs> He's now my friend, my steward. Very good going to make him better if I ever try to promote culture. I can't try and befriend him anymore. Have I tried befriending my patriarch yet? No, because I wouldn't be able to, but now I am. Very good. Sweden is basically just screwed. They have, they have no option. It seems like there's a lot of civil wars going on in there. People don't like each other. These are quite new Dutch cheese, that's probably the reason why. We should probably eat up that guy as well. And Mallorca. I want the Bailerick Islands. If I could help it. I would want them. I would like to have them, rather. I think that's more grammar grammarly correct. There we go. Endless hearing. Uh, I, 
could get a hook on both of them. That's kind of a big chance, we could just... And it worked. It surely did, and we gained a new perk because of that. I do like that. And for that one we could... Digging for the... Even though I don't really try to find secrets. I don't need the money, that's basically the thing. Malaga. And you... Go up here. Be friend. I don't want to. I don't want him to have a weak hook on me. That's basically the thing. I don't. I never want that. That's a terrible thing to happen. So if I can avoid having hooks, having them have hooks on me, I should probably just go here instead. That's to a city and a barony. And you should probably work, walk up here. My acquaintance is dead, I don't care about that guy. We could probably just go and kill those guys off instead. That's probably better. And th this, is a, this is a good man. They're cataphracts. And we have a peasant uprising. Where? In Roma and Constantinople. And they're probably moving because they all want to go to Constantinople. <sighs> I hate it when that happens. Raise everyone. These are only going to be levies, but if I have enough of them, it's not going to be a problem. Because I have a lot of levies left over. That's probably enough. Okay, so another one of my rivals is dead inside my prison, actually. I don't care. I don't care about that as well. It's not, it's not important use my allies right now because we are the Roman Empire and we can solve this all on our own with our massive massive levy I do think those guys are going to move on because they want to come here and help with the siege of Constantinople obviously <coughs> pardon me someone else got excommunicated there's a lot of people getting excommunicated all the time. Because it's fun to excommunicate people. Obviously. Okay, so you should go there. Or not there. I want to stay away slightly. So that this guy... Oh, I need to go to Crete. Apparently. Bloody hell. Yeah, I know Crete is on the siege, man. I know. And I have to go there and kill them off. This despot, she's too scared to do anything about me. But now she's inside my prison. And she's also priggers. Like being a woman in this game. And being stupid enough as a woman in this game to actually sleep with someone else than your husband it's a stupid thing to do because if if you get caught it's criminal you may get actually imprisoned because you did that so it's a stupid thing to do if you are playing as a woman if you're a woman of course but if you're a player of course that's not going to be the same thing because you can do stuff to stop that from happening of course stop yourself from getting taken prisoner He's a bastard, he can't inherit titles. I do like that, when the guys I land can't inherit other titles. Because that's going to stop the succession from being completely screwed up. He's my amazing grandson. Well, he's one of my amazing grandsons. So that's the Duchy of Sevilla. And I'm going to give that to the guy in Cadiz. Because I can. I was thinking I should check 
a bit on my dynasty again. So my heir is the important one. His heir is 11 year old. He has a guardian. No, he doesn't. I think I'm... Has his guardian died? I basically, basically, I could educate this guy myself. There we go. So I think his guardian died. This guy is not as good. He could be focused on learning. That's very good. We can force him to take the wow with the Valus. Very good. I love when I can do that. Then we have those grandsons. He is a bastard founder. Oh, he's not actually my dynasty anymore. But that's too bad for him. He's a nun of this. They're a member of my family, not a member of my house, because I. Okay, I married her. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I basically don't know what's what's going on there. We're going to come here, kill this guy, land here, and go and kill this guy. Because that's fun. Killing some peasants. They think they can do something against me, attack me, but I'm, I'm, I'm just forcing them to obey me. Basically. And now I can just disband everyone. That was the faction gun. We could go for a holy war on a kingdom, right? Because we are finally Paragon of Virtue. But I do want to take the entirety of Iberia, but we could go, as I said before, and subjugate the entirety of Poland. They're quite weak. Like, take all of this. It's Poland, though. The Romans never had Poland. It doesn't make sense, really. But I also don't want to waste a Holy War CB. Like, I can't take an entire stuff in with a Holy War. So they need to be another religion, of course. And they need to actually ha a bloody hell Tingri is big. Also, it's orthodoxy. We have a lot of Lollards. And some Catholics spreading out. And some Austro as well. I guess we could, like, Holy War for a Kingdom down here. Damascus. Wait, what? Is the Sahara hold Damascus? Yeah, they do. Or oh, they hold this... This place in the... in Damascus. Interesting. This guy here then. Could we... could we go in and... basically take his kingdom? That's the kingdom of Yasira. And the other option is Syria, of course. That's slightly smaller. It's quite a lot you could take. The Romans did have this historically. Trajan had down to the Persian uh, capital of Ctesiphon. He actually conquered this entire strip down here. He attacked the Persians a multitude of times. We could attack them for the Kingdom of Arabia, but that makes even less sense. The Romans holding Arabia. But I want to use that CB on someone. If I could. Roman Africa, pe perhaps. They're quite strong. I need to think about that for a bit. I want to take Iberia. That's basically the thing I want to focus on. Because we could take that one county of Sevilla, or we could take that entire duchy. Quite an easy choice. <laughs> it's quite an easy choice. I just wait, need to wait for a few seconds. There we go. I'm nasty. So why not? That's a terrific way of killing someone.
very good way of killing someone. I basically want my siege equipment to siege down the capital. If possible. Nope, stop, stop, stop. And you were there, and that's basically enough. That's basically enough. Okay, but she's designed a prison, right? Where she's imprisoned by someone else. I don't care about those books. They're unimportant. We are friends, me and my patriarch. We have a liberty faction. With one member, the Duke of Trachysion. I think I have about a lot of people in prison. <laughs> That's a nice way of stabilizing the realm. Can we possibly use a whole war to take the kingdom of Valassia? It's not that big, but it's closer to we act where we actually are. We or we could take Hungary. I think that's a more sensible way of using that CB. Poten potentially. So someone is trying to kill my brother-in-law, the 77-year-old Armenian guy. He's Herculean and strong. That's actually very good. He's a legendar legendary blade master. So Asturias is seeing the chance to attack. Apparently. Blessed are the meek. He could be humble, deceitful, or honest. He's the guy I want to play as, right? I like that extra intrigue. So I want him to make him. If I want to make him into an incredible intrigue guy, we're actually almost losing this battle. and siege that down again. Like the Asturians is severely reckoning my plans right now, being stupid. Peasant rabble, unimportant. Five months, they probably need some help. Just make sure I can finish those off. Scheme, someone's trying to kill my wife. Uh, no, I don't want that. Let the trait be known. Oh, it's actually that guy again. I was going to let him be known. I want to use him as a knight. He's seemingly incredible. So why not use him? If I can, basically. Did I just lose my steward? The guy I just befriended. I surely did. I lost the guy who's basically just befriended. That's terrible. And it really hurts. What we basically could do... I want to have the university in Cairo. Which means I need to increase the development. Oh, the wrong one. In seven months, I'm going to increase the development by by one. That's basically going to take forever, but why not? And basically, I need to build Cairo up as well as a whole thing. He's he's doing that by himself, but. this up. I'm not going to keep that city, I'm just going to give it away. But I want to build Cairo up. I probably should have done this forever ago, but I haven't. Basically, I haven't. Yes, I know someone's trying to kill my wife. Leave her alone. 
It's very naughty of you trying to kill my wife, you know that? There we go, and we also discovered a science, a very good one, and we are... Oh! We're always high in medieval as well. Gilliman. Men at arms maintenance has gone down. I do like that. Horseshoes. Which one would I prefer? Extra domain limit or horseshoes? I think I go for the domain. Nine years. Two years. And this one in 51 days. Oh, and I need to give this all away. Disband troops. Is it where it's probably Lissabon? That's the Dutchy holding. Got to give that to the best guy. Basically, that's actually quite a big Dutchy. This, and I like I like my Dutchies big and strong. Make sure I don't need a lot of them. I think that guy was a dwarf. I just landed the, that dwarf man. There we go. Usurped it. Give it to you. Duchy of Bea. Is it possible to make a kingdom? It surely is. No, we need to usurp it. Which means I need to take those two last places. See, he's basically having a kingdom, this small guy. With 74 levy. Allow me to laugh. At how pathetic that is. And somehow Frisia has troops down here. Or has holdings down here. Okay. I feel like I lost a lot of my men at arms. In that war. Probably because of that battle with Asturias. I guess that's the reason. But they replenished very fast. So it's not a problem. Every nook and cranny. I go for that one. I don't have a lot of stress, so it's basically not a bad problem. I do like that. Okay, so someone could. Wrong one. Mary. She is my granddaughter. She is amazing. I would like to marry her to someone of rank. I want. I want more renown. Basically. So he's a Pope man, but he's allowed to marry. That's good enough for him, I guess. I'm going to marry her to the Pope man. She has a lot of good stats. She's robust and she's intelligent, but I want, I want renown. And I have this alliance with this guy who only holds a uh, duchy title. I probably should have looked up that first. I want the kingdom title. That's better probably going to give me slightly more renown. Yeah, Duke. Pardon me, Dukes by marriage. We are now high medieval. And what does that mean? What can we get? Probably going to speed this one up. So that one is very close. So hoardings, castle baileys, trebuchet, very good. Men at arms, I like that one. Advanced bowmen, crossbowmen, knighthood. Oh, heraldry, high partition, I do like that, urbanization, muladi, is there a reason why we can go for all of those? <laughs> Domain taxes, different culture, opinion, development growth, I do like that, banking, guilds, land grants, windmills. Divine right. Can press several of your claims in a single war. Hell yeah. I want that one. Screw bailiffs. I want that one. <laughs> oh, I want that one so much. Please. Hell yeah. It's going to make everything so much easier. Yeah, someone's trying to kill that person. I do know that. Disband those guys. And hopefully that means I can now 
create this kingdom. And this is apparently the holding that's supposed to be the kingdom holding, so... You get it. There we go, we have a new king here in Iberia. Frisia, like, what the hell is Frisia doing down here? Attack you, can I attack you? We have a truce with you, so no. Can we attack you? I can't attack him because he's my prisoner. That's too bad. I want to speed this up slightly. If possible. So, that's the way to go. Basically. I am dead. Of course I am. I am dead. Sebastianus II is dead at the age of 70. Now we are Bardas of the Byzantine Empire. And a lot of things happened, apparently. Yes, I know. I have those. This is going to change. We are probably going to have some new factions because people are not going to like me. This is going to update in a few seconds. I am a learned man. Okay, I am. I need a new council. Everyone hates me. <laughs> That's... He didn't like my father. He doesn't like me. He desires a county. I could basically make this guy like me a lot. If I just gave him... The Count of Aspawn. Where is that even? Where is the Count of Aspawn? Oh, it's basically Mecca. So I need to transfer Mecca to him. I could actually do that. It's okay. It's okay. I need a steward. He should be my... Marshal. He's the best one I got. I need him as my marshal. Make him slightly like me. I have Agnes. Do I have anyone better? I do not. Should probably focus on some. I could become celibate. That could be a good thing. A new life begins today. Yeah, sure. We are now celibate. Does that give us anything else then? We gain piety in clergy opinion. We don't like revelers. We don't like seducers. We don't like. That's the main thing. We don't like them. And I could pick a focus. Because I want befriend though. I need to take befriend just. That's the only thing I'm going for. Then I'm going for learning. But first, we're going to win those few wars here. That's the first thing you're going to do. Basically, just killing those guys here. I think that's enough. For now, I need to check how the... If someone's trying to kill my Hetari, I, I do know that. Faithful Magistris. No, wait, I'm not house head. Why is he house head? It doesn't make sense. He's a bloody eight year old and he's, he wasted my renown. Oh, bloody hell. Come on, CK. That's stupid. I should be house head. I am the bloody Roman Emperor. For Christ's sake. Why can't they send the ultimatum? This is probably going to update. They're all terribly weak, except this one. Ah, that's annoying. He wasted my renown, which I saved up, and he's also wasted it on something terrible. Control growth. What the hell is that? I wanted this one. Stupid game. Ah. That's annoying. That's, that's really annoying. That actually 
made me kind of mad. It surely did. Are we not fighting that guy? We're not, apparently. Bloody hell game. Bloody hell. There we go, finally. That should have happened like the first bloody second. Okay, so sh my children lacks guardians. Oh, yeah, I do know that. She's a six year old. She could be. She's a woman. She, she, she focus on martial. Doesn't make sense. Someone that's good at stewardship. My spy master. My player and heir. He's going to be focused on intrigue. He doesn't look as good as he should should look. I need to find someone that's good at stewardship. Oh, intrigue. Rather. But also learning. Like this guy. Of reward, my son. He is currently busy that man so I'm just gonna take take this guy instead if he is free of course which he is and then we have our other son which I preferably want to kill somehow oh yeah I want to make that guy and break take the vows I already done that. And I will not do that. No, thank you. Go away. I'm really angry because someone just wasted 2k of renown on something stupid. Control growth? That's terrible. That's basically useless. I'm talking about control. I need to increase control in, in Constantinople. Ah. Uh. Bloody hell game. Bloody hell. I lost my cousin and friend. Okay, so we're 42. We're Herculean. We could probably live... We're Herculean. We're whole of body. Oh, oh, oh. I like that. I like that. Very good. That's the route I was going to go down. But we already have it. Whole of body. Very good. Awesome. Healthy. Is really that because of the... I think that is. Aspiring Blade Master Iron Constitution. Yeah. We're probably going to live above 70 then. Hopefully. So we have some years with this character. I do like when that happens. I want my characters to live long. It's easier when they live long. Basically. Okay, so Cordoba... Actually conquered someone which means we now have to go and siege down this other barony to win that war that's okay that's basically okay fine by me how's the fashions looking Th this one is actually kinda strong they can send an ultimatum in 30 months Someone here I could potentially kill. The Despotissa of Italy we could kill. Oh, so we actually basically got that one for free because of that. I do like that. Thank you, my man. And we won another one as well. That one. And now we have this one left, which means we need to send our managers there to help them out. So, Cordoba. The Great Mosque of Cordoba. Apparently we can actually use this. That's kind of amazing. And this one. Should probably do multiple wars more often. Didn't we just win two wars? Why are we still... Oh, I think I misread that somehow. Basically. 
we can create the Duchy of Cordoba and I'm going to give that to you. You are now a duke, my man. Someone is trying to kill... Um, my plot to kill her has been discovered. Could I invite some people to make this possible? No, I can't. And I probably need my spy master to help me out. In all honesty, I should have thought about that. And I want my wife to do that one. I have 27 months. Before this all goes to shit. He's a king. How strong is every one of those guys? I could basically kill this guy. If I subscribe something. As I said, money is not the issue. But apparently my intrigue is. Wait, why did I get stressed? Because I am forgiving. Is that the reason? I'm a forgiving man. That's probably going to help me a bit. At least a 90% chance of not getting found out. That's the most important thing, at least. Oh, I think I died at the wrong time. Basically. And that, that guy spending my renown, that I have a hard time swallowing that. <laughs> that it hurts. It actually physically hurts. That he spent my 2k renown on something useless. Just because I died and it doesn't update immediately. It should just go to me naturally because I'm the strongest guy. It shouldn't go to someone else. Why doesn't it go automatically to me? Instead of that bloody guy. Another month and we win that war as well. That's inside the kingdom. The Duchy of Granada. Disband everyone. Do we have that Duchy? We do not. And the Duchy of Granada, of course, should belong to the guy holding Granada, right? And Granada seemingly has. Oh, yeah, they have this, this fortress guy. Thing. He doesn't like the fact that I hold the duchy. Basically, he's gonna like me now. Very good. Okay, so that's 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 it. I think we could create this kingdom. Because where is this person then? Andalusia. That's a bloody big kingdom. Actually, kinda. He loves me though. I like that. Sophia could marry, yeah sure. She's my sister, she's 30. I want some more... People I can marry off my... Women to. Because... I lost my renown. Because of a stupid young 8 year old of Ancona. Which apparently is of my dynasty. Cadet branch. Ah, <sighs> that's stupid. That's bloody, bloody stupid. Hmm. I would like this one. I would also like this one, but I need. To, I would need to be beautiful. I am not beautiful. He is not Herculean. And he's also not beautiful. But I would like strong blood. That would keep them alive for a long time. But that's going to be something for next episode, guys. I'm going to take a break here. So like, subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. I just realized I wasted my holy war. As well. I could have used that on him. I didn't do that. Stupid. But that's something I'm going to <laughs> cry about next episode. So like, subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment. And anything you want to leave. <laughs> and suggestions for 
new episodes oh new campaigns rather i'm losing my ability to speak here, as you can hear <laughs> but see you soon guys bye